from the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. With the echoes of cannon blast still ringing in our ears from the north end zone, the Bucks were introduced a moment ago, and they are all set as their guys will do battle with their opponents. Two one and one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. Taken in at the three. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. deciding to take a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, this defense for the Bucs, much improved from week one. They were terrific last week in getting their guys their first win of the season. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? Now Dobbins again on second down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now, look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And they'll get this down to the 10. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. 
After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. They'll set up a throw. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Swings this out for Hunt. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. And his kick here is good. And the opening drive of the game yields three. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. But we keep waiting see signs of Tom Brady's arm strength deteriorating, but his message there, keep waiting. No going for two, they'll kick the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. They'll run on first down. Dobbins, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. We also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Set for the second quarter, San Diego in possession of the football. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Devin White coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. A hole to dig out of here, second and 17. They're going to look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And the Bucs will have solid field position here as they take over at the 45-yard line. It's almost like you can see the look of frustration on his face. Four interceptions last week. We talked about it all week. What did he do wrong? And another one here in the first half. And you can understand the frustration. You actually feel his pain a little bit. But the worst thing he can do is what you're seeing right now, showing the other team that he's frustrated. All they're going to do is double their efforts to make him even more frustrated. He's got to gather himself, compose himself, and keep fighting. Well, he talked a lot about erasing that loss last week, getting back in the win column. We'll see how he responds. Bonds. Cameron Curl up to make the tackle. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On play action, now Brady. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. Into a double team and it's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. They'll run with Hunt. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Just a yard on the gain there, and that leaves him with 14 yards still to go on third down. Territory. They look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. A rifle's one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And, Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them, and they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. Yikes, a four-yard loss really Let's sets go, him back on. now for second down. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. And so much of being a good tackler is understanding and taking the right angles to a ball carrier. 
and that was just tremendous straight line speed there. He eliminated the angles and was able to meet his man behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second and 14, Brady. This is caught by Robinson. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. It's got to be so tough having the ball in the middle of the field like that, knowing that a linebacker is just waiting to make a big tackle like we just saw. No, no doubt about it, because offense coordinators love to call plays to send receivers into the middle of the field. And linebackers, they want to naturally discourage those plays from being called. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. This is caught. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Ronald Jones. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. The extra point splits the uprights. And that pushes the lead up to 11. They're following the touchdown now. It's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Second and six, just inside the 30. Looking to throw. They'll leave it for Hunt, complete. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Now we'll throw here to his running back. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, he'll drop to throw. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And some room to maneuver. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. I know you're trying not to scoreboard watch, but you only got three points. You got to hope that that type of play there gives you some positive momentum going into the half. Yeah, I need to do something to get more than that three number that they have on the scoreboard right now. They'll look to throw again. Got him in. It's Brown. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. In 
inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Back to throw again. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Aftershocks get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is down to four. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. He will score. Touchdown. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Extra points safely through, and that makes it a 21-10 game. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. So we've hit halftime here in Tampa with a box out in front. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bucs with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. down Brady open man left side it's a tight end Tunyon and they're able to get this one across the 35 and now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two score lead in the third quarter they almost become defensive with their offense just playing not to lose I think with this team you got to figure at this point this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. 
In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Push him back. Push him back. On second and nine, Brady. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And it'll be third and ten. because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And Jones with a nice game there on first down as he takes his forward and call it a, a pickup of six. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The last run got six, now second and four. Now this time, Brady will throw. This one swung out here to Jones. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. On first down, Jones. And a penalty flagged down as he gets only about a yard. Now let's listen in on the call. Ali Marpet, the guard, caught there. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now a play fake, Brady. That is caught, it's the tight end, Tenyon. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Six yards left on second down. 42 to Mike, 42, 42 to Mike. Alpha. Mike 42. Mike. Now Brady. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Ronald Jones, his second touchdown of the night. And the Buccaneers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25.
The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. A gain of three, second down. On that last run, he's now hit the 6,000-yard mark for rushing yards in his career. And moves him squarely into the top 100 rushers of all time. In fact, he can boast that he's rushed for over 1,000 yards more than Gale Sayers did in his career. And Gale Sayers was a Hall of Famer in a short career. Here's a second and seven. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A big play that time on the catch and run. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now a toss left side for Dobbins. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Two yards the loss, second and 12. You got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Here we go on second and 12. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, another offensive player quick to react, and they will indeed retain possession. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? There he goes left side. He's at the 50, the 30, 10, 5, and touchdown. Ronald Jones, his third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Buccaneers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point attempt here still to come. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Take it in at the three. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Fitz back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. 
win first down. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. They'll drop to throw. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second and three. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Buccaneers are going to take possession here at their own 47 yard line. That is now seven. Seven interceptions between last week and this week. Three in this game, four a week ago. And I saw the head coach write on his play sheet, make a little note. I hope he's writing self-scout. Bring in the guys that scout games for you with a different eye and watch him and see what's going on and maybe they can pick up what the flaws are and hopefully they can correct them. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll go again to Jones. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On play action, now Brady. The throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out, and he is going to need to bomb this one. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And his kick is good. And their lead will swell up to 28. So they haven't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the floor of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And three interceptions in this game, and I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, the number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Carlton Davis picks it. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Yet another interception. And I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about <laughs> double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it, and that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. 
Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down now, Gamble. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Stop it twice more as they take a knee here. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, 